How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan battle video in today's video. We are taking on the new Ultimate Red Zone Dismal Future First Form Cell. I shall take on the challenge if you insist on interfering. I'll show you who's the superhero! Like I told you, King Piccolo was the old man. This is not going to end like it did before. Alrighty. Yo. Um, yeah. I don't know if many of you guys have realized this yet or not, but uh, we're a little late on posting this video, and that's because, well, this guy is actually really, really difficult, and it took me a little while to decide on the team I wanted to use to clear it. Um, we're, as you guys can see here, we've settled on superheroes because this dude hits like a truck. Uh, that's not even, you know what, a, a truck is putting it lightly. This dude hits like a truck driving a truck. Uh, um, it's kind of crazy. So, I mean, really to beat it, you need units with good defense out the gate, right? I was running it with Future Saga, and I mean, look at that. Gamma, Gamma 1 just... Jeez. Yeah, so, my point, you need units with defense out the gate. And Superhero is one of the places that can get this done, right? So, I mean, look, Orange Piccolo still takes 200k there post-Super. For reference, right, the reason I'm choosing Superhero is because of the extra damage reduction that the two Piccolos and the Gohan get. Gohan also has a chance to nullify the Super because it is a key Blast Super, so that's kind of why I went with him. Um... I will defeat you! But yeah, I feel like Superhero, if you've got the units to pull it off, is probably the best chance. And... We are not looking hot on key spheres. I think this will set us up. Okay, cool. The four... Uh, it's gonna get us the... Will that be... No, that'll be 19 key, won't it? Yeah, okay, so it's just below. Ah, uh, darn it, Gohan. This was your chance to prove everybody wrong. <laughs> That's alright. I mean, 18 key is still good. We do have hidden potential eventual ma additionals. Maybe we can put off. But anyways, as I was saying, it's like, Superhero is one of the few teams you can use to pull off that has the defense out the gate. Um, even Piccolo, right? There we go. A lot better on this one. Because it, it, as long as you don't take a super right up, you know, right away, you're doing all right. I was running Future Saga before this, led by Vegeta and Trunks, and even Vegeta and Trunks, like, even after taking a super, they were still taking, right, and their type advantage, like, they were still taking 300, 200k. It, it's kind of insane. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, if this theme doesn't work, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, because... Uh, I, I feel like I've tried a lot of my top tier teams, and I, th I think it's really just about luck and when he decides to super. But we're turn three, and now we can do this. Thank you, Shenron. That little extra went a long way. That was the one. I'm just getting started. All right, so. Yeah, this is the second reason we ran um, the superhero team is because on a pure superhero team, turn three, we can do this. Which, I think, <laughs> I mean, more or less cripples Cell. Um, so if you got Orange Piccolo, if you picked him up during Golden Week when he's returned, or if you picked him up during um, New Year's, obviously then I do think this is the way to go if you want the easy clear. We ultimately, like I said, settled on this team because every other team I tried, like, I was just getting the worst RNG. I think one of the last runs I did before this one, uh, we were doing Future Saga, and we had Zamas, Int Zamas, and Int Rosé. Um, the, the idea was to use Int Zamas, because I think he's a really good option for this fight. But the problem is you got to run him on Vegeta and Trunks' team, and I kept getting rotations with both Vegeta and Trunks' turn one, which left my turn two wide open. So, um, yeah, it's kind of rough. <laughs> I 
All right, let's see here. I think another team that works really well is if you can protect the Z duo, right? Their team with Power of Wishes, because that'll also give you Orange Piccolo, right? Like their Power of Wishes team with Bulma and all those guys. That'll work really well if you got them. I just, I, I didn't want to use Bulma for this clear. Um, I really want to get the Future Saga run. I'll probably keep trying it, maybe post it when we finally get it. Because um, I think that'll work. I actually need to double check. I think, I think one of the issues is that um, I've been running the STR uh, Trunks and Mai, who should be really good in this fight. And I'm only, and if I'm not mistaken, this this first form cell here is not on Future Saga, right? So they're actually not getting their passive, and the Int Mai for that matter. All right, cool. Okay, so we know that there's no supers this turn, and I don't want to risk Ojita not being able to dodge, right? Because he's still going to hit hard, right? Even on those normals. You saw what he was doing to Gamma 1, so I think we should just do this on the off chance he decides not, Gojita decides not to dodge, because at least with the build we've got so far, Gamma 1 should tank those uh, post-sumer normals. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so like by turn three, you're solid. So if you can get a setup where you can kind of just stall out to turn three, most of your characters that need to build are going to have enough to take him on. They just got to dodge those supers or, I mean, Piccolo by turn three is going to have more than enough defense to tank the supers, actually. He will have taken enough hits by then that post super he should be okay. But I mean, this, I mean, what this all screams to me is that there's going to be a massive, well, maybe not massive, but there's going to be a significant level of power creep by the end of this um, celebration, right? Like, if this is how, yeah, look at that, Gamma 1, turn 3 with all that build, post super still taking, oh, jeez, oh, man, yeah, so I feel like by the end of this celebration, we're going to see a pretty significant power creep, so let's, let's do Orange Piccolo again. Just getting started. All right, excellent. So let's see. Um, let's go here. Okay, perfect. So we're actually gonna get a pretty significant um damage off here with Orange Piglo. Being that we got the 24 key twice here. There we go. honestly wondering like it, it like looking at how these bosses are designed now they might just be this way because they're designed to be short fights and the later fights which might be a little bit longer will be a little bit easier to start out um or it could mean we're going to see a significant level of change in how we approach fights right we all thought longer events were coming but it could be different looking at how this cell is and if that's the case right what units do for their team i think is going to have to start changing we might actually start seeing more of i mean we kind of already saw it right post goku uh Path to Power Goku. We got things like Bulma, which gives support across rotations. We have Goku, who's giving damage reduction to the team via support. Um, and I'm wondering if we might be seeing more of that this celebration. Um, we're going to grab these low key spheres here because I, I see a bunch of fizz. Um, and I want to try to set up Gohan. I, I feel like we're going to need to do that here. So, yeah, especially since Gohan only got the one the one super last turn. We need to set him up. But I'm thinking, right, because we know this field effect is coming. So I'm wondering if like we're gonna see like a field effect or something that gives characters damage reduction or something for like the first three turns, maybe. Right? Like it could be I'm thinking like a possibility, right? we, we've talked possibilities of like an infinite Zamas that 
boosts um, extreme realm god types or something. Or like, I'm thinking like if one of the characters is like a Trunks, it could be like a time travel, sort of like a space time warp field mechanic, and then it gives like damage reduction for three turns to time travel category allies or something. I, I don't know, but I feel like that's going to become a necessary part to fights, given how these bosses are designed, because I mean, half the game just gets obliterated by this cell, because I mean, there aren't very many characters that come out swinging like he does, like even Orange Piccolo, right? Number one, number two unit in the game, like he's... We have to kind of stall till turn three here. Okay, cool. So we got the setup, right? We got enough orbs here for Gohan. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's go ahead and let's do his active. Guess it's my turn. Oh, just under 7 million. Very nice. You know, I'm going to be honest. Okay, here we go. Let's grab that. Uh, you know, if I'm being entirely honest here, that's pretty good considering we only got one super the turn before. That's actually pretty awesome. Okay, so putting him in front allows us to go ahead and take advantage. I want the kill with Gohan, so we're going to take it. Um, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> um... You know, a lot of people like to smack talk this Gohan, but considering we only got one one super the turn before this, this is pretty darn good. So, there you have it, folks. There is First Form Cell, the new Dismal Field Future Ultimate Red Zone, complete with the superhero team. Like I said, the key to this event is characters that come out swinging, right? You need characters that don't need a whole lot of build. And, you know, Gohan is actually one of those characters, right? Honestly, you could probably run a double Gohan lead for the similar effect, but I felt like having two Orange Piccolos was probably a little bit more useful. But the, do the double Gohan lead gives you double coverage for super attacks, right? Because he can nullify Key Blast supers, which the Cell has. So, um, Gamma 2 does, but I'm going to tell you right now, I did test Gamma 2. Um, even on a, like, a triple stupor, he's still taking like 200k on normal. So, it's just not exactly sure he's the best there. So, I'm um, just throwing that out there. But, you know, this is the team we use to get our first clear. Um, and no item run at that i didn't even realize that so we're gonna try it again i'm gonna keep trying and get that future saga but let me know in the comments down below what team you completed it with and what other teams you'd like to see me complete this uh, event with we got a few days before the um celebration proper starts and uh i'd like to have some fun so let me know in the comments down below what teams you want to see maybe we'll hit them in stream next week so anyways guys that's it for the video if you like the video Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if nothing else, guys, thanks for watching and aloha.